it seems like performance has become a bigger, bigger issue uh, around marketing. And uh, what is sort of the, the driving issues around performance? And uh, how are you guys sort of, um, how does the Nielsen Cloud offering sort of address performance? And what kinds of performance and what kinds of information do you get back? Sure, from? sure. I mean, you know, look, whether you're trying to sell a 30 second spot, a bottle of shampoo or a car, um, at the end of the day, it's, did I get the most out of my marketing spend to sell that thing, right? And whether you're pushing top of the funnel or bottom of the funnel, there always needs to be an ROI on that. And that's where the cloud really comes into play. Um, you know, we recently, Nielsen recently acquired a company called Point Logic, which focuses very heavily on the planning aspect through our Nielsen Media Impact Tool. So from the first step in understanding what I'm going to buy, the marketing cloud is there. Activation, which is really where Exalate came in on the DMP side, which is really taking that information that I have on the consumer, building segments around it, and make sure I can target them or reach them. So planning, activation, and then the evaluation, which you just mentioned, is super important. So we've brought together tools from people like Nielsen Catalina, um, which does CPG analysis, uh, Nielsen Buyer Insights, which is retail and car credit card transactions, as well as a partnership with JD Power, which brings in data to allow us to do closed loop on automotive. All of those things come together really help drive efficiency on marketing campaigns. And you know, it's never been more critically important because not only is the data there now, but spend is so fragmented that understanding what is working and where I spend my money uh, is, is crucial to any marketer. And the cloud brings tools together to allow those marketers to do that, just that. Cool. And uh, you're going to be a judge in Kansas. So yeah. Tell us about the panel and what you hope to learn. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm a, I am part of the Creative Data Jury, um, and I get to vote on um, really amazing creative that's been driven by data globally. And um, it, it's truly an honor. It's, it's a recognition of, of all the great work that Nielsen has done in contributing to uh, you know understanding of, of consumers and making better marketing. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's an exciting time, and uh, I never th thought I'd get to be a judge without going to law school. And this is a great chance for me to do that. What does creative, uh, data-driven creative mean to you? Or what? I mean, you'll see it, you'll see what it looks like yeah. soon enough. But yeah. what do you, what do you think it should be like, or what what might it evolve to? Uh, well, what I think is really amazing about the concept of even just voting on these and 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 you know providing this as a category is the fact that. Um, there's always been a lot of talk about data or recently, and, and creative has almost been left out of the equation. It's like, if we have better data, we can always b create better targeting, if we, you know, we know our consumer better. But all of that without awesome creative with it is a waste, and bringing the two together is really magic. So for me, the idea behind creative data applications is about finding the right beautiful message to map to the exact right consumer at the right time and bringing those things together. And some of the initial um, applicants that I've seen have done a, a wonderful job around that. So whether it's you know, delivering dynamic um, ads based on location, um, based on feelings, or you know, based on um, you know, certain behaviors, those things map together with the right kind of creative that help sell things and actually have real results, and that's the data part of it as well. Um, is really what we're looking to do to find out. Cool, great, great. And um, roadmap for the next six months. What's going on next with you guys? Just the global expansion is a big thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So um, taking the cloud global is obviously a, a big part of what we're doing, and that's you know looking at our, our UK, France, Germany, and and Western Europe launch. Um, but then also. The cloud is an open ecosystem of applications. So not only are we going to be pulling more Nielsen apps or solutions into the cloud so that they work seamlessly, but also working more and more with third parties. Um, so just like you know, your iPhone has owned apps and third party apps, uh, we're doing the same thing. So think of our ecosystem of apps that exist on the cloud backbone that help deliver those marketing solutions is going to become wider over the next six to eight months.